This is Lalita Raman again. Today's topic is women and girls. Where do they belong? Women and girls are often told what they can, what they should, and what they're allowed to do. I've even read cases where some men object to women being on the front lines of war due to their menstruation cycles. Funny but true. It goes further in many parts of Asia, including the subcontinent, among the many things that men and society dictate is a women's dress code, the type of job they can do, the time at which they should come home, the friends they are allowed to have, and literally every part of her life is dictated by people surrounding her. For all the narrow-minded chauvinists, why don't you concern yourself with living and letting live and if you're that concerned about where women do not belong, maybe you should consider the following suggestions. Women don't belong in a police station humiliated by police officers and others in society where her inner parts have been torn apart by scoundrels and yet being asked to prove if she was raped. Women don't belong in the kitchen working inhuman hours serving her in-laws and husband and being at their beck and call all day long. A girl does not belong in a place where FGM or female genital mutilation is a call of the day. Women don't belong on roadsides or shelters having been victims of domestic violence. Women don't belong in houses where dowry is demanded ever so often and her body is tortured day in and day out leading to bribe burning and suicides. Women don't belong in hospitals or graves because they were victims of rape, sexual assault, acid burning and bribe burning. Girls don't belong in a marriage where a fate and life is decided well before she is 18, where she's given in wedlock as a child. Girls or women don't belong in the middle of a planned parenthood, right to life, debate where both sides seem determined to lay down the law for all women and all women's bodies. Women don't belong in a society where she shunned as a haggard life of raising children alone and many times she is a sole bread earner to feed a parasite family. Women don't belong as a number one commodity in the growing trade of human trafficking. Women don't belong on TV shows and hoardings and movies where violence against women, namely being beaten, raped, street harassment, shot and stabbed is considered as entertainment. Women don't belong in a place where she does not enjoy the basic right to live. Yet, in spite of all these agonies that women undergo in various parts of the world, we have found a way to survive the violence, have families, build nations, give comfort, travel the world, fly in space, make history, set Olympic records, rule countries, feed the hungry, win championships, serve at home and country, in spite of the menstrual cycles and the treatment meted out to her. So, for those who feel that they have a right to treat a woman as dirt and deny her the basic right, why not seriously work on expanding your mind and seeing women for who they truly are, what they have truly accomplished and where they truly do not belong? Think about it. It will make the world a much better place to live in for you, me and everybody else. Thank you.